Mzansi Cribs, welcome back. It feels good to be back after two months of not being active. Listen, I'm so excited. We started doing virtual tours a year ago and everybody else is jumping onto it. So welcome to our world of doing virtual tours our way. We are out here in Cedar Lakes residential estate and look at this beauty. It is a five bedroom, three garage, three lounge, luxury Mzansi crib. We are going to market this for 6 million rands. Let's go in. Can you tell the excitement in my voice? It's been a while since we did this. So let me take you inside. Like I said, this is our chair in Cedar Lakes residential estate in four ways. You can see those three garages as I walk in. Listen to the sound of the water. This is a sound that's consistent throughout the house. Look at this entrance. 6 million rand is what you're going to be marketing this crib for. And as I walk in, boom, look at that. So it's completely empty. No one has stayed here before. Look at the chandelier as you walk in. Woo -hoo -hoo. This is definitely worth the money. So we'll start here on the right as you walk in. That's lounge number one. And lounge number one opens up to the garden area. In the pool area which i'll take you to outside just shortly it does come with a centralized aircon uh, system as well as centralized um, underfloor heating throughout the house and voila this is the study area i don't know if okay let's switch on the lights there that's the study area with wooden flooring it really is a bit difficult to you know showcase an empty house but i mean you can still see and get an idea um, the house itself is about um, 500 squares under roof and the stand is about 700 squares. It's in a beautiful enclosure. This is the guest toilet. It's in a beautiful enclosure within the Cedar Lakes residential estate. And voila, everything is open plan. And that is the lounge number two. And this would be the dining area of this beautiful crib. So clean, so crisp. And as I open the sliding door as well, the nice thing about this house is that all the uh, sliding doors open up onto the garden pool area, which is pretty cool. And it's really quiet. Look at that. Now I'm walking from the dining area into the lounge area and also has access to the pool area. So I'm standing here by the corner, uh, trying to switch on the lights as I'm doing that so that it's a little bit lighter for you guys. Look at the chandelier. So I walked in right there in the lounge straight onto the kitchen area. What is quite interesting about this crib is that it has two stoves. One in the kitchen, which is a four plate Malay um, electric stove. Look at that. So that's the four, four plate Malay electric stove. And as you walk into the scullery area, you then have another stove, which is, so this is the scullery area. It's like a double scullery area. As you walk into the second part of the scullery area, you've got another stove, which is a five plate gas stove. This is so cool. And when I asked the owner why he did this, he said to me that sometimes you want to cook stuff far away from your um, guests and the smell stays on this side. So that's the five plate melee whirlpool it says whirlpool here oh, okay but it says melee there anyway it's a guest stove right back and uh, we are back here through the lounge area again into the side of the house through the passage and here you've got two bedrooms that are interlinked so this would be bedroom number one on the ground floor look at that and with that as well, you've got access still to the pool garden area. So that's bedroom number one of this beautiful five bedroom crib. Look at that. Look at that. And as you walk through the walk-in closet of this particular bedroom, you walk straight into the full bathroom area, which is actually interlinked. So this is the bathroom area. That's me right there, which is interlinked into the second bedroom also wooden flooring it seems like all the bedrooms in this house have got wooden floors so just to give you perspective it's quite big so both these bedrooms share 
this interlinked bathroom and I'm going to go back and walk back just for you to get a sense of orientation as I walk out. Virtual tours are the thing of the future, but as Mzanza Cribs, we are thought leaders and we started doing virtual tours last year already, so this is nothing new to us, if you think about it, look at that. We've been doing this and now everyone is following suit and we are glad and happy to welcome them. We are now making our way upstairs. So you've seen downstairs, you've seen two lounges, you've seen the dining area, you've seen the study area, you've seen the kitchen, you've seen the scullery with um, a stove as well, so there's two stoves downstairs. And now we're going upstairs where there's three bedrooms, a pyjama lounge, and uh, balconies. So this is bedroom number three upstairs, which is interlinked with the patio balcony area outside, and it has a bathroom of its own. That's bedroom number three. Bedroom number four, upstairs, wooden floors as well. And as you can see, it's got a full bathroom with bath and shower. Really great, beautiful, clean finishes around here. And this is the pyjama lounge, which is really huge, with your aircon ducts in the ceiling, a little balcony area here. And I'm standing right there by the corner to give you perspective of how big this pyjama lounge is. And from the pyjama lounge, I'm able to access the covered patio area right there where you can chill, read a book, have a drink. And from this side, you are able to see the entire garden of this house. So many cured. This is beautiful. Beautiful and private for the discerning buyer. Now I'm about to walk into the main bedroom area. So what's interesting about this main bedroom is that it has its own study. It has its own kitchen. Yep, I said it. So let me just close this door so that you can get a better perspective. So, the, so that's the main bedroom area. The beautiful chandelier, underfloor heating, aircon, the works. And as you navigate through this bedroom area, I'm going to turn around again and give you perspective. That's where I walked in. Like I said earlier, it is quite difficult to try and showcase um, a crib without, proper, without furniture, but it is what it is. And that's the study area that I told you about, or an office, private office. And as you walk in, you've got your own private kitchen in your bedroom with its own built-in fridge. How cool is that? Own built-in fridge and cupboards. I think that's pretty cool. Even a mirror cupboard setup. So that's the kitchen within the main bedroom area, and that's the walk-in section or closet of the bedroom. The main bedroom that is. Six million is really worth it, guys. For all these amenities and features, and you're paying six million, I think is definitely, definitely worth it. And as you walk into the main bedroom bathroom, look at that. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Really great, clean finishes. Not too much color. Very classic. I'm loving this shower. It's even got a seat with all the jet shower heads you can think of. How cool is that? Come on, people. This is a great way to start and come back from lockdown and sell cribs that are inspirational, motivational, and at a good price, if you think about it. I mean, for six million rands, you're getting your money's worth for five bedrooms, three lounges, swimming pool, three garages, underfloor heating throughout, private kitchens in the main bedroom, private study in the main bedroom area, beautiful manicured gardens. What more can you ask for? And also it comes with a two bedroom staff quarters, which I'm about to go downstairs to show you. So just to recap, upstairs, look at that chandelier. Just to recap, upstairs, we've got a pyjama lounge and three bedrooms, which are all in suite. I'm now rushing outside so that I can show you um, outside. So this is the outside. So the one garage actually has a, a, a pull through where you can park a fourth car. And this is the side 
where you have the staff quarters. Two bedroom staff quarters. That's bedroom number one. Bedroom number two with its own shower. Get in touch with us, Zanzi Cribs, and let's do a deal. Let us do a deal. And now we are outside. And as I'm about to finish this video, just to give you a perspective of how beautiful this crib is from this side. Look at that. Look at that. Manicured garden. Beautiful finishes. Get in touch with us. Six million rand is what we're asking for this beautiful crib. And as I exit, I'm really stoked at what I've been exposed to with this crib. Get in touch and let's do that deal. The sound of peace and happiness. And as I finish this video, let's get a last perspective of this beautiful five bed, three garage, three lounge, two staff quarters, luxury crib. Six million is what we are asking for. And this we will sell sooner than you think.